Okay, a new micro SD card. Oops, I just left something in the way of my stepping. I'm just moving them out of the way. Pair of um, bed slippers. <laughs> uh, enough of that. We're just going to get stuck into the progy. Okay. I wonder how big we're going to make this. We're going to leave it at 100. Summer's on its way, folks. It's not long, less than a week to go, folks, until the hot weather really, really ramps up. We've got a really horrible bushfire season ahead, folks. Uh, climate change is really making it that bad. Uh, it's going to be a long fire season, folks. So we just have to, fortunately I don't live near a reserve, uh, but my mum does and I hope she's alright. I hope she doesn't end up ending up with her house totally raised or partially raised. I feel sorry for my mum, uh, has to put up with this shit. But anyway, let's hope it's alright. Anyway, we got here a Christmas uh, from Maya piece of shit, piece of capitalist bullshit, oh fuck, they're the idiots that make fucking climate change, are the rich people and the capitalists, the big corporations, they're the ones to blame in large part for this fucking fire season that we're, that's starting to unfold, it was unfolding a couple of weeks at least ago, and it's just so wrong, and those people who deny climate change, go fuck yourselves, you sluts, you brainless fools, unscientific goons oh fuck I hope their fucking houses fucking burn if they live on a fucking reserve the bitches don't say you weren't warned you sluts anyway stabilizing image typical Konica Minolta and they probably can they'd be contributing to the fire season these bitches all their CO2 shit oh fuck but anyway, let's just get stuck into this progy. We can't get too fucking tied up in this fire season. It's going to happen. We can't do anything about it. Okay, that looks really interesting. That's a really good start. So we're just going to throw this. This will be in the recycle bin. I'm not going to buy any of their fucking shit. I don't... Whatever. I don't really celebrate Christmas anyway because I'm not with my loved one. I've got a man that I'm hoping to marry soon and I'm really missing him and no fucking material, no what they call, uh, what do they call it? Retail therapy isn't going to stop me from feeling sad, missing Luigi and I love him and I, no fucking stupid retail therapy is going to make me happy. And, you know, retail therapy is just about covering up wounds from within, you know. You don't feel happy with your life. You don't feel happy with your relationships. Everything seems meaningless. And retail therapy is just a stop. It's just a fucking band-aid for your emotions. When you've got a huge gaping wound that needs proper bandages and proper, proper uh, anaesthetic what is it? Uh, not anaesthetic. Uh, uh, Sanitisation, whatever you call it. I can't think of it. I'm too fucking angry with things to really think straight. I don't know. I just don't know anymore, folks. This world is crazy. Uh, there was a song written in the mid-80s called Mad World by Tears for Fears. This song's been going around in my head quite a lot lately since I heard it on the bus a couple of days ago. And that song, I think, was written in 1985. And now that we fast forward to 2019, and that song is more true now than it was then. Because all these rich people and normal people who consume these fucking products and basically... It's a mad world because it's all about loving money. And, lo and loving money 
is a madness. It's a sickness. To be honest, it's really bad. And the world's gone crazy because of money. And the singer of Tears for Fears, I don't know his name, uh, but basically he sung, that was a, a, a nugget of wisdom, that song. Those lyrics, uh, they don't make songs like that anymore. Unfortunately, the whole music industry is consumed by money fucking. So, you know, it's all madness. And I bet the man who's probably in his middle age who wrote the song, middle age, maybe into his early elderly age, I don't know how old he was. He would have been in his 20s back then. I was in my teens. Just, yeah. I think I was in... No, I wasn't even in my teens when that song came out in 1985, if I remember. I was 12. So he might have been in his early 20s when he wrote it. So he'd probably be somewhere in his 50s uh, right now. Probably thinking about those days and thinking, well, maybe... Wow, what a fucking prophetic song if you believe in that sort of shit uh what a prophetic song that's turned out to be shit i thought it was bad back then now it's worse it truly is a mad world gotta go